go out. So today we are going to be, uh, it's really windy, but today we're going to be trying to catch some uh, ghost shrimp. Uh, it's the middle of winter, or you'd think it's the middle of winter, but it's been really hot. Um, due to the drought in New South Wales, it's really hot down here. Um, so I'm hoping that we might be able to catch some ghost shrimp today. I was catching them during winter, but hopefully they're more productive today. Uh, as the water's warming up, the ghost shrimp will be more active. As you can see, you can probably tell how dry it's been. All these lily pads and all this grass. The lily pads are all dying. They're usually green as in this creek. But yeah, this is in New South Wales. So go shrimp in New South Wales. Get yourself a net if you want to go catch them. I think this is like six bucks from Big W. And I just attached it to a um, broom stick for easy dipping, just a container to put them in. So, we'll see how we go. Interestingly enough, there's a lot of mosquito fishing here as well. So if you're gonna do this, you're also gonna get those as well, but all you wanna do is drag the net across the bottom. Sure enough, mosquito fish straight away. Two mosquito fishing here. Throw them back. There was a shrimp in here too though. There he is. So we'll get some water in the container. I don't want to put too much water in the container just in case they jump out. One shrimp in there. Yeah, these are obviously good for anyone who's keeping cichlids or something. You want to feed them some live food. Very good option here. One thing I'll say about these nets is I drill a hole through here and put a bolt through it because that was falling off. But that's an easy fix. Um, for five bucks, so you can't really complain. Six bucks, five bucks. When you're doing this, you want to bash near the bottom or around the, the reeds. Got two there. That's where the glass shrimp will be sitting. There's a decent size one. Very finicky to get them out of that. I mean, you can also use the mosquito fish for live food, obviously. That one's a big one, big mosquito fish.
about this story, Mark. <laughs> better than guppies. Obviously this isn't um, productive if you're catching these for live feed, but obviously in that scenario you'd probably switch out for the mosquito fish if you're using the feed bigger fish, but I'm keeping them in my tanks as tank cleanup crew, so, and using them for cycle tanks. Take a better look at these when I get home though. In a cleaner water, seems that two of them are still acclimatizing to the water on the side. But as you can see, we have some decent sized ones there. Female with eggs there. So I'm gonna be putting these into this tank over here, which I'm currently cycling. And hopefully all goes well with that. Some pretty nice shrimp in here. How many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen shrimp. Not a bad haul for winter, but um, some will be more productive for sure. So I'll get these into the tank and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and uh, check out more of my channel. Some interesting videos on there for people who are into fish keeping better and. Uh, Better while fighting fish, whatever you want to call them, um, and guppies. So, stay tuned, guys.